folks once again welcome back to Roots Gourmet Kitchen today I have a request to make cuckoo cuckoo is made out of corn flour or cornmeal or it's called in the southern part of America planter so today I need four cups of corn flour for this recipe back in the day when my grandma used to make cuckoo it was just cream of coconut salt and corn flour but as time goes by throughout the years it has gotten very modernized and now you can put anything you want in your cuckoo so today I'm showing you my version of cuckoo I'm going to use corn flour I'm going to use some okros I'm going to use some of these pimento peppers have some hot peppers some bell peppers some onions and cuckoo and flying fish is Barbados national dish for those of you who don't know so guess what I did I found I went to the fish store and I found me some flying fish so I cleaned them and I deboned them and you can see I have the real flying fish so today I'm going to do cuckoo and flying fish and it goes really good with kingfish too so I got some kingfish okay so we are going to start. I have my co I have three cups of coconut cream boiling in the pot because I want to have that boiling before I start. And I have one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of seasoned salt, and a half teaspoon of dried thyme. So I'm just going to throw this into the pot. And like I said, you can season your pot as much as you like. These days you don't have to do it the, the way our grandparents did it. We just do it a little more upgraded way. So I'm going to put these ingredients in here, the okra, the onions, the peppers, and a little bit of fresh garlic so you can season it up as much as you want. It's like back in the days you have the old cars and you have the same cars these days but they're a little more dated. It's the same as that. So all you do you stir this around and you taste to see if you have enough salt put as much salt as you like for your own taste okay and guys I have a pot of a kettle water boiling so when I put in the corn flour if it gets too hot on me quickly I can put some hot water in it to soften it up so now I'm gonna just start by putting my corn flour in there and start getting my corn going you see, that's why you put your, your water to boil before you start. You see, my, my water is really hot now. So I can put in the cauliflower. And you just gradually, slowly stir that. As you go, you just stir it in. And guys, we have to keep stirring this. We don't want to get any lumps in a cuckoo. So we have to keep stirring it. And as you go along, you put water in there, okay? Oops, a little bit of water. I am going to leave a recipe in the bottom of the screen for you guys. So you guys can follow the exact recipe. I'm doing a little more than, than the recipe I'm going to put on the bottom for you guys because I'm making dinner at the same time for the family. So I'm doing a little bit more. So this is the reason why I have the water here so we could keep putting water because we don't want it to thicken up on us and get too hard before it's time. Okay. So. So folks, we know it's not going to cook right away. It's going to take a few minutes. I have to beat it a little bit while it's cooking. Thank you. Thank you. You see, I get a good cameraman. He's, he's very handy. He could do two things at the same time. So folks, you don't leave your stove too high either. You turn it down. Because we don't want to rush the corn. Corn flour has to be cooked properly. So I'm just going to keep it beating this like that until it's cooked. So 
So folks, you know what? I'm gonna come off camera and I'm gonna beat this for a while until it's all done and then I'm gonna come back. And I'm gonna show you the results of this, okay? Folks, I'm back with the final results with the cuckoo. First, I wanna show you the outcome of this. I chose to put it in this dish because, look at that, it's easy and flexible to cut. So once you get it in something as flexible as this, you just go, you cut it and it just comes right out. See that? It just comes right out. So there'll be no problem. That's why I chose to put it in this bowl. You see it's all finished. And then I, this is what I'm gonna display. It's no magic, you just use a little bowl, you put it in there and you turn it over. And guys, guess what? We haven't flying fish with this today. So I did the flying fish, I fried them, and I stewed it down. So this is what we're gonna have with our cuckoo today. So we're going Bajan style today. Cuckoo and flying fish. And we're just gonna put some gravy on that. Look at that. Just like that. Get some okra and I put in that, right? So this is our cuckoo and a flying fish and we have some callaloo. We are just gonna put it aside like this. So we have a flying fish, cuckoo and callaloo. Yeah, just gonna squeeze a little lime on the flying fish. Gives it a little more flavor. And there you have it. We have our Bajan style cuckoo and fried fish guys. Oh, I am gonna dip in here and start tasting this. You know, you're just gonna go, you're gonna get a bit of cuckoo. Look how nice and soft it is. Some fish, and you're gonna put some callaloo. And we want to get a bite of everything when we put it in our mouth. Mmm. The happy dance. You guys know what that means, guys. It's tender. With this, the okra is in there. Very, very, very soft and tender. The gravy is very good. The flying fish is. Sauce is very, very delicious. I have lots of garlic in there, lemons, and of course our homemade dash leaves, which we call callaloo. Folks, please try this at home. And this was a request, so that was done today. Check this out, guys. If you like this dish, please leave a thumbs up comment and do not forget to press that bell so you will be notified every time Roots Gourmet Kitchen posts. Ciao for now. Take care. See you guys another time. Mm -hmm.